And we are back here on the Zero Empty Spaces podcast. This is episode 24 from our Miami International Mall location in Doral, Florida with Andrea Ciotti and her beautiful studio here, which we'll show you a little bit more about. If you didn't know about Zero Empty Spaces, we started, myself and my partner, Mr. Andrew Martineau, an initiative as arts advocates and community builders to activate vacant commercial retail spaces to make affordable artist studios at $2 a square foot on a month-to-month -month basis to provide spaces for artists to create in outside their house like her and support shopping centers, malls, communities, and tons of other things in between. Uh, to find out more, you can log on to www.zeroemptyspaces.com. But the point of the podcast is to connect you with the talented artists like her that make the project what it is. And we have quite a bit of talent to show you here. So without much further ado, why don't you tell us a little bit about Seattle Art and how you got started. Hello, well thank you very much first for listening and for inviting me over. Um, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to have a studio space where I can explore and paint and do my thing. Um, Seattle Art started out of desperation, I would say, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just recently moved from Spain. I lived there a couple of years. And uh, with the move, I had to sell my jewelry studio. I used to do uh, contemporary jewelry, which is an expression of art as well. And I had to sell everything. So I moved to Canada uh, for a couple of months and I was desperate. It was December. I was alone in the middle of winter. I just needed, I had this desperate need to create something. So I went to Walmart and I got myself a canvas, the cheapest one that I could afford at the time. I went to Michael's, one of my friends were like, you know what, go, they have big sales, it's Christmas, you go get yourself right. a kit. So I went and I got a kit that had four paints, uh, it had three brushes and it had a canvas and that was my uh, New Year's. I started painting. And I hadn't painted since I was a little kid. I never had training, um, so I just, I needed to create out of desperation. And I created my first paint, and since then I haven't stopped. Yay! <laughs> Very interesting. Where, uh, what were you doing in Spain, and where are you from initially? How did you end up here in, in Doral, Miami, South Florida? Well, first of all, I, I kind of have to say that I love traveling. It's one of the things that I'm very passionate about. I grew up uh, in Venezuela, that's where I'm, I'm from, um, but I had the opportunity to go study in Canada. Um, I lived here a couple of years when I was in my early 20s, and then I had the opportunity to go do my master's in Spain, and I did a master's in accessory design, mentioned jewelry, um, and it was, a, it was an incredible opportunity to go to Spain and live that beautiful culture, and there's art everywhere, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't miss that. Um, then I decided to go back home in Canada. Uh, I lived there and I came to visit my mom for vacation last March. And all of a sudden, the borders were closed oh. and my life changed. <laughs> and so, so many things changed that I kind of decided to stay here. I was having fun here. Um, my art works very well here in Miami. People tend to like the explosion of color, uh, the celebration that I, I try to give through my painting um, and then it just worked and it kind of just let life show me the way for a little bit. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Everything happens for a reason. It does. The bad and the good and, and here we are and, and uh, you're not, uh, it's not the first time that that's happened uh, that you know somebody came back home and then COVID happened and then here we are so we're yeah. glad to be able to support you <laughs> yeah. here and I love uh, the fact that you're very family oriented. You came to an uh, open house initially with with mom, mom yep, and that was great. Um, and you got a very great, uh, re really great energy with your work, a uh, really great color palette. I want to uh, have you tell them, show them a little bit more, so let's show them a little bit of your studio. Yeah, let's do that. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your work in your studio here? Yeah, for sure. So the series that you're seeing right now, it's called I See Me. And this series came about um, to celebrate women's roller coaster. I'm very inspired by femininity and women's emotions. Um, and I, because I had the pleasure to live in different countries, I've kind of faced different versions of what being a woman means. So I really wanted to celebrate my roots in femininity, the colorful of Venezuela, 
Um, and all of these emotions and the eyes represent all of those changes we live in one day. So why not celebrate them and be explosive and fun and loving and crying and mad and everything that we have to be and don't hide it and don't be afraid of it. So that's how I see it came about. Amazing. And how, have, uh, how has the work evolved and uh, where are we at in the series and the process now? Yeah, so let me show you this way. Um, some of my paintings from this series are in an exhibit right now. Okay. So I have this one here and this one's I See Her. I See Her is by women that I'm inspired in the arts. This one is inspired by Ashley Longshore. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but her, but she's an artist here in the States and she does very well for herself. And what I really, really like about her is how genuine she is to herself, to her emotions, to her expression, and how she has seen herself also as a businesswoman. And that's a line that I really like to cross in my work, because although I am an artist, I do feel that there's a business side of it that I'm also very excited about. So that's how this one has been evolving uh, now with I See Her. What do you want the viewer to take away from interacting and experience with your work? What would you want them to know or think about or maybe see with their own eyes? Well, you know what? I, I don't tend to put any pressure in what the viewer would like to see, but I can tell you what my mission is as an artist and what I really want is people to have fun. I really want people to look at this and get good vibes. Like I, I picture them leaving their house and seeing the painting and smiling and feeling good even, or coming home and seeing, you know what, Whew, I like that. I like that woman. I like those eyes. That's how I feel. I want to feel good like the painting makes me feel. Amen. You've got great energy and it shines <laughs> through the work. Let's show them a little bit about how you make your work and your process here. Yes. So. Um, I, that series, this series in particular, came about uh, with an exploration of hairbrushes. So that's how mm. I do all of my textures, I know. Uh, you can see all of these textures and they're this organic part of the painting where there's a part of movement, there's a part of letting the paint speak for itself and the brush doing its thing that it's very exciting. Um, and it's kind of very releasing. There's no pressure of like, this has to look a certain way. Uh, and my control freak mind loves that. Mm. <laughs> so it's a great technique that has allowed me to have fun um, and let go. I also do use brushes and like this work right here, it's a different exploration completely. And this was more with brushes, more of an emotional roller coaster for me. Um, but right now I'm so happy and this, work of brush it's it's super cool and fun and relaxing and i love letting go what are other things that you might be available for uh commissions interior design classes yes. coaching well so you can check on my website uh and um, there i have a section with all of the services that i provide but of course we have commissions, but we can do uh, murals. I love doing murals. Um, I have classes where we go more than just art classes. I want to help you find that creative voice, that thing that is unique to you. Uh, so we have that part and also we intervene objects and I do body painting. I love, I recently did a belly for a mom to be and that was a lot of fun. Amen. Uh, and I see uh, in your Instagram stories, you have some aspirations to do some podcasting and some other things. Yes. So uh, if they want to follow you along on your journey, where can they find you on the social medias? So everything is uh, at Sviati Art. Uh, that's C-I-A-T-T-I -T -T -I Art. And you can find me there through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and my website and on Instagram I'll be posting more about my podcast and my YouTube channel coming soon. Very nice, very nice. So what do you like about having a studio outside of your house to create in? Well you know what, because of how my life came about, um, this is actually the first studio that I've had. I was painting in a little corner in my mom's home, um, so this is an absolute joy to have all my paints, all my work 
Um, and I just feel so comfortable when I get here and I can just uh, paint without any worries. Amen. And if those uh, want to discover and, uh, and explore your studio uh, here in Miami International Mall in Doral, uh, when are you usually in and when's the next time uh, that we have an event that they can check you out? Yeah, so I'm usually here mostly during the week in the afternoons, uh, especially on Wednesdays. I'm here all day. Um, and then we are going to have an opening on the 17th of April and you guys can come through the day and all of the artists are going to be here so you can get to talk to us, ask about our work, ask about the space, how is it working with other artists, which is a lot of fun, um, and much more. Amen. And if they want to follow you again on the social medias and the interwebs, uh, wh where can they find you? Yes. So that's at C-I-A-T-T-I Art. Um, C -I -A -T -T -I Art. Amen. Thank you so much. We're so glad to have you. We're so glad to support you in your creative process and that led and journey. And uh, we look forward to having you guys join us on the 17th yes. here in Miami International Mall next to Kohl's. Uh, big thanks to Simon Malls. Big thanks to uh, the staff here at the Miami International Mall and everybody that supports the arts. We look forward to seeing you on the 17th. Thank you. Cheers. I'll see you soon. Bye.